Hello, and welcome back to solving your Rubik's Cube in five steps. This is, I guess, lesson seven or bonus lesson two, um, which is full PLL. So I'm going to teach you in this lesson how to completely permute your last layer uh, with just one algorithm. Okay, so I'm going to be going through 21 algorithms and I'll be dividing them up into a few different kinds. So pay attention. So the first kind of algorithm that we'll be dealing with is one where there are headlights all around the cube. Okay, so uh, this particular one, uh, the, what to look for is that you have four uh, headlights all around the cube and uh, all of the edges in the center are the opposite color. Okay, so if you have orange here, you're gonna have red here. Uh, green here, blue here, okay? So the algorithm to perform for, for this is hold the cube in any position since uh, what we're just gonna be doing is swapping opposite to opposite. So no matter where you hold it, it'll be the same. So the algorithm is m prime two, u, m prime two, u two, m prime two, u, m prime two really simple algorithm, okay? So the next one that we'll be dealing with is a little bit uh, trickier to understand. So if you look here, there are headlights all around the cube, except that um, it's not the opposite colors, okay? So the way that this algorithm works is it swaps these corners and not corners, these edges and these edges, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna look and make sure that the two colors that you have uh, to your front and to your right are the same color. So you have orange and blue and blue and orange. If you hold it like this, that's not correct because it's not the same colors and you'll swap blue uh, into the green space and blue and red into the orange space and you don't want that. So you gotta hold it like this and then perform this algorithm. M prime two, U, M prime two, U, M prime, U two, M prime two, U two, M prime. And that solves that. The next algorithm that we'll be dealing with is we do have headlights all around the cube, but one side is also solved. Okay, so there are headlights here. There are corners of the same color here, and there's also the same color of the headlights in the middle. So if you have it like this, what you want to look for is what way are the edges going to rotate, okay? So there are two kinds that look like this, three headlighted and one solved. Uh, there's the kind that goes clockwise, uh, and there's the count there's the kind that goes counterclockwise, which is what we have here. See, this red is going to move counterclockwise to here, this green is going to move counterclockwise to here, and this blue is going to move counterclockwise to here, okay? So the algorithm uh, for this is m prime two, u, m, u two, m prime, u, m prime two, okay? So uh, now I'll show you the next algorithm. This next kind uh, of algorithm is pretty much just the same thing that we had before, except that uh, the pieces are moving clockwise instead of counterclockwise, okay? So this blue will move clockwise to here, this green will move clockwise to here, and this red will move clockwise to here. So the algorithm that we use for this is basically the same thing except that it's flipped, okay? So we have uh, everything the same but mirrored or turned around the other way. So we have m prime two with the right hand, u prime, m, u prime two, m prime, u prime, m prime two. Okay? Okay, so the next kind of algorithm is where you have a headlight here, and then you have a bar of two of the same color somewhere around the cube. Uh, there can be six places for it. One, two, three, four, five, six different places. I'll just be working my way around the cube. So the first algorithm, uh, if you have a headlight here and a bar here directly connected to the head, uh, headlight, you put the headlight in front of you and perform this algorithm. L, U prime two, L prime, U two, L, F prime, L prime, U, L, Sorry, that was a U prime. U, 
L, and then you push in an F with this finger, and then L2. And there you have it. Sorry for the mess up. So the next type of algorithm you can run into is where there are headlights here, and there's a bar here. Now what you want to do for this is put the bar in front of you, and then perform this algorithm. R2, little u, r prime, u, r prime, u prime, r, little u prime, r2, and then you turn the cube around with a y prime move, and then r prime, u, r. Okay. The next algorithm that you can run into is this, where you have headlights here and a little block here. Okay, so the way that you uh, do this is you put it with the headlights to your left and the block to your right, and you do R, U, R prime, Y prime, R2, little u prime, R prime, no, not R prime, just R, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, little u, R2. Okay? The next algorithm that you can run into is this, where you have headlights here and the block here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the block in front of you, like this, and then you want to perform this algorithm. F prime, U prime, F, R2, little u, R prime, U, R, U prime, R, little u prime, R2 prime. The next algorithm that you could run into is this, where you have headlights here and a bar here. So what you want to do is you want to have this bar in front of you and to your left and then perform this algorithm. R prime 2, F2, R, U prime 2, R, U prime 2, R prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2. The last of these uh, headlight block combinations that you could run into is this, where you have headlights here and there is the block right over to the left of it. So this is basically the same algorithm as the first of the headlight block things that I showed you where it was over here. It's the same, but uh, with the other hand. So the algorithm is R prime, U2, R, U2 prime, R prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, and then with this finger here, F prime, R2. The next two algorithms that I'm going to show you uh, are very similar. Uh, so this kind is where you have a fully solved side like this, and then you have little sections of block all around here. So you have two that are uh, supposed to be together, then two that are supposed to be together, then two that are supposed to be together. And the way to remember this is whichever side the blocks are, so if you turn this cube around, there's always a block on your right, okay? So if the blocks are on your right, you need this uh, fully solved side over on your left, okay? And once you've done that, you perform this algorithm. R, U, R prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, 2, sorry, U prime, R prime. And that solves that. This uh, next algorithm is much like it, except that it's kind of flipped. So if the blocks are on the left, then you want to have this full side on the right, and then perform this algorithm. L prime, U prime, L, F, pushing with this finger, L prime, U prime, L, U, L, 
f prime l prime uh, l2 prime sorry u l okay so now on to the next algorithm okay so these next couple algorithms are similar in that they have headlights somewhere and then in front of them either to the right or to the left will be this wedge sort of thing here where there are three colors uh, that uh, not three colors three pieces that need to be together okay now uh, when this uh, little wedge thing is on the right looking at it from the headlights being in the back you want to position the headlights to your right and the block to your left and then you want to perform this algorithm now technically the algorithm uh, says X and then R2, um, but it's almost really, if you want to do it efficiently, it's almost more like you hold the cube like this, and, sorry, not R2, R prime 2, but anyway, uh, it's almost like you hold the cube like this, and then you do an R prime at the same time that you do a lowercase L prime. So the algorithm would have you do it like you turn the cube, then you do an R2 prime, but really what you need to do is you need to kind of turn this side at the same time that you're turning this side. So it's like that. Okay, so for the algorithm's sake though, we're going to say that it's x r2 prime d2 r u r prime d2 r u prime r. Okay? So uh, that's that algorithm. And this algorithm is similar in that it has uh, headlights here and a wedge here, but instead, uh, this time, when you have the headlights in the back, you have this wedge on your left, okay? Now, when this happens, you perform this algorithm. Uh, this algorithm has a similar X turn at the beginning, um, but again, we're going to be dealing with it uh, kind of weirdly relying on uh, lowercase L turns. Um, to make our time more efficient. So it'll have you do in the algorithm x r prime, but the thing is you can get there one, with one move less if you just do uh, lowercase l prime, okay? But for the sake of the algorithm, it'll be x r prime u r prime d2 r u prime r prime d2 R2. Okay, and that R2, it's kind of the same thing as with the um, X and little L things that I showed you before. Uh, so you'll kind of do an R turn at the same time that you do a, uh, a lowercase L turn. Okay, so it's like that. Okay, so that's that algorithm. Okay, so this next algorithm is a little bit funky. Um, and so uh, if you have all blocks all around here, so you have four sets like this, uh, then you want to uh, look and see if the um, blocks are on the uh, left or on the right. And if they're on the right, then you perform this algorithm. So you do a Z turn, then you do U R prime D R2 U prime R and then the algorithm will say D prime and then U, but what you want to do is you want to do them both at the same time, like this, okay? So then you do R prime, D, R2, U prime, R, and then D prime with the ring finger like that, okay? So, and this next algorithm is kind of like the one I just showed you. Uh, in that it has these four blocks all around, but in this case, the blocks are situated on the left. So you hold the cube from any position and then perform this algorithm. R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, U prime, F, R, U, R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R, U prime, R. So these next five algorithms that I'll show you are just unlike any other algorithm. They, they aren't really similar to any other. Uh, so this algorithm, you have a complete face done, and there are really no other patterns besides that. Uh, so what you do for that is you put the face over to your left, and then you perform this algorithm. 
r prime u prime f r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime u r okay now this next algorithm is that you have headlights here and on either side of the headlights is a little block connected so uh, it looks like uh, this so uh, what you want to do is you want to put the headlights over to your left and this little block here in front of you and you perform this algorithm r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime so this next algorithm you want to look for two blocks that are like this so you have a block here a block here and then there's really no discernible pattern over here so what you want to do for this is you want to place this block over on your left okay so you have a block in front of you and it's not on your right it's on your left so then you perform this algorithm r no not r f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime okay so this next algorithm you want to look for a wedge okay so like this and it's like the uh, algorithms that we dealt with earlier except that there are no headlights around the cube okay so you take this wedge and you put it to your left okay so you don't put it here you hold it here to your left and then you perform this algorithm r prime u r prime u prime y r prime f prime r2 u prime r prime u r prime f r then f like that now this next and final algorithm uh it appears that there are no patterns around the cube however if you look closely uh, you'll see that actually all of the center edge pieces when put to their um, when put to their uh, center of color you know uh, if the green is put to green and yellow is put to yellow uh, then all of the edges line up so the reason for that is that this algorithm actually uh, swaps the corners uh, with the corners and the edge pieces are already aligned correctly so uh, what you got to look out for with this particular algorithm is just look for center pieces and if you can't find that straight off if you see no pattern at all no blocks together or anything like that then you'll know that it's this algorithm so what you got to do is you gotta um first of all there's an x prime move and then an r which as i've shown you with other algorithms before can be essentially achieved by just doing one move uh, a lowercase l uh, but for the sake of the algorithm, I will be showing you the algorithm with the x prime. Okay, so we have x prime, then r u r prime d r u r prime d prime r u r prime d r u prime r prime d prime and there you go so those are all 21 algorithms to solve pll with just one look uh so if you uh like this video then you can go and check out the rest of my how to solve a rubik's cube in five steps uh playlist uh by just following the link down in the description thank you